The question on most people's minds about Justin Bieber is not is he a girl or when will his five minutes of fame end, it's who is he dating? Is it Selena Gomez? Let's listen to her response. Sure? Sure. Right, there you go. This is you and Justin Bieber. And, and uh, is it, he was your date? Are you, you're dating. Are you dating? You're not dating. It was, it was like a little prom night, wasn't it? Looked like it. You guys look very happy there. How long have you known him? Uh, almost it like definitely a sounds like Selena Gomez is dodging or avoiding the question. <laughs> Since we can't answer that question, let's try one that we can answer. This is Chapter 3, Section K. It's called Related Reads. Here's a sample problem from this section. Teen heartthrob Justin Bieber is courting Selena Gomez and decides to pay a visit to her house. He notices that she lives on the second floor of a house and sets up a ladder 20 feet long and leans it directly against a vertical building. Her bodyguards notice Justin Bieber trying to reach Selena Gomez and mistake him for a stalker. The bodyguards grab the bottom of the ladder and pull it horizontally away from the building at a rate of 3 feet per second. Justin Bieber is at the top of the ladder when it is being pulled. How fast is he, i.e. the top of the ladder, sliding down when he is 16 feet above the ground? So this is the type of question in calculus that we know we're going to have to use some side of derivative. First of all, it's, uh, we see two rates, and this process is called related rates, so I'm going to teach you how to solve that today. Plus, we probably want to know how this story ends. So let's look at step one. Step one says to draw and label a di diagram of the problem. So when I look at the problem, I notice that there's a vertical building and a ladder I'm trying to uh, imagine here. So let me draw it for you. Um, since it's Selena Gomez's building. Let me see if I could try to draw her in the window. And that's the best drawing I could do to give her a body. And obviously in the problem is also Justin Bieber, so let me try to draw him as well. Top of the ladder, so that's why I drew him there. And then I'll draw him a body. And the last thing we need to draw is, remember there's a bodyguard, so let me see if I could do my best drawing of a bodyguard. And that's the best drawing I could do. So now I will draw him trying to pull the ladder vertically. So I drew a diagram, and the next part of the step is I need to label it. So let's look back at the problem. I'm going to look across and see what can I label. So I'm looking across, looking across. I'm trying to look for um, unknowns and knowns. And I'm looking across, you notice that she looks like a forest, and sets up a ladder 20 feet long. So when I go back to my drawing, I know the ladder is 20 feet long, so I'm going to label that. Like so. Then going back to the problem. The bodyguards grab the bottom of the ladder and pull it horizontally away from the building at a rate of 3 feet per second. So I'm going to draw or label him pulling at 3 feet per second. back to the original problem. And the last number I see is if Justin Bieber is at the top of the ladder when he's being pulled, how fast is he sliding down when he is 16 feet above the ground? So here I have two numbers. One is unknown and one is known. The first thing, I want to know how fast he's going down the ladder. And also, I need to know, or I need to label, that he is 16 feet above the ground. So back to my problem. I know that this is 16 feet above the ground. And they also want to know how fast he's falling down. And I'll choose another color because it's what we don't know. So your diagram may or may not look like mine. On to step two. Step two says list the knowns and unknowns of the problem. So we sort of did that when we labeled the program, but now I want, or labeled the diagram, but now I want to uh, put it into variables so we could solve it mathematically. Using the axis notation, I'm going to label things x, y, and z, where x is from left to right, y is up and down, and z is diagonal. So this is not what you need to write down, but I'm just giving you a legend. So I'm going back to our problem. I'm again looking for numbers and um, numbers that we're trying to find. So first one says list the knowns. So I'll make one column that says knowns. And back to my problem, it says you notice that she lives on the second floor of her house and steps a ladder 20 feet long. Remember in our problem, in our diagram, 20 feet was the diagonal, so I know that piece. Z equals 20. Okay, so far? Now, 
The next part of the question says he leans it directly against the vertical building. Her bodyguards notice Justin Bieber trying to reach Lena Gomez and mistake him for a stalker. The bodyguards grab the bottom of the ladder and pull it horizontally away from the building at a rate of 3 feet per second. So two things here. One, it's going horizontally. Which axis is that? That's correct. The x-axis. Second, instead of a value like 3 feet, it's actually a rate. A rate of 3 feet per second. So the quantity being horizontal is going to be x. And because it's a rate, as we've been studying in derivatives, we're going to call this x prime. And 3 feet per second. Let's see if there's any other quantities we can see in the problem. If Justin Bieber is at the top of the ladder when it's being pulled, how fast is he sliding down when he is 16 feet above the ground? So we looked at this earlier. We do not know how fast he is sliding down. Or we want to know what the rate is he's sliding down. So sliding down, up and down, we're trying to find the y quantity. And again, it's a rate. So I'm going to create a new column called unknowns. And we do not know y prime. And the last one in the problem said that how fast when he is 16 feet above the ground. Again, this is up and down. It's on the y-axis. So our last known quantity is y, and it is 16 feet. So now I have listed the knowns and unknowns of this problem. On to the next step. Step three says to find the equation that fits your problem in variables. If you notice my diagram, if we could go back, what type of shape do you see here? A triangle. And because it's a triangle, there's two types of equations we could use to fit our problem. It could be a Pythagorean theorem, it could be area, it could be a lot of things. But judging by my knowns and unknowns, looking that I'm trying to find certain quantities x, y, and z, my best guess is that the equation that best fits my problem is Pythagorean theorem. So now, you may notice that it does not exactly fit my variables. Looking at my unknowns and unknowns, do you see an x prime and a y prime? And you see how my my Pythagorean theorem equation does not have a prime? So what I'm going to do is I need to do something to this equation that would allow me to get those primes that I need to solve. And what have we been studying? That's right, derivatives. So I'm going to implicitly differentiate the Pythagorean theorem. And now I have an equation that has all the unknowns and knowns that I'd listed in the previous step. On to step four. <laughs> step four says to solve for the unknown variables. We may need to solve for additional unknowns. So let me copy down the equation from the previous step. Now looking at my original problem, the unknown, what I'm looking for, is y prime. So let's look at this equation that we had and let's solve for y prime. First thing I'm going to do is I'll subtract. I'm trying to get y prime by itself. Which is right here. And I need to get it by itself. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll subtract 2x x prime from both sides. So now that we subtract it from both sides, we notice that <laughs> they cancel from the left side, which leaves us with and the last step to get y prime itself is that I notice there's this 2y being multiplied by y prime. To uh, eliminate from the left side, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 2y. And leaves me with an equation y prime equals 2z prime minus 2x x prime over 2y. Now that I have an equation with all my variables and solved, or excuse me, with y prime, the unknown, uh, isolated by itself, now we can solve the problem and find out how far Justin Bieber is falling, or how fast Justin Bieber is falling. All we have to do now is plug in the numbers. y prime equals 2. Now z, if I look back at my original quantities, I notice that z is 20 feet. So my problem I will write 20. Now, z prime. Do we even see a z prime? Let's look back at our quantities. No, no one's no z prime. So let me look back into the question and see if I could derive or figure out what z prime is by the question. First of all, what does z prime stand for? z, as we notice, 
represented the diagonal. Now, if I look back at my diagram, does z or does this diagonal ever change value or does it always stay as 20 feet? That's correct. Whether he's falling, whether it's upright, whether this letter is uh, in any orientation, this diagonal will always and remain 20 feet. Because it remains 20 feet, what can I say about z prime or the rate in which z changes? That's right, it does not change. So because the ladder is always 20 feet, or my diagonal is always 20 feet, z prime will be zero. Two, x, and here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I look back at my problem, and I don't see an x. Look back at my problem, like the last one, and in this one, as the ladder is being pulled away, my x gets a little bit wider. Or as the ladder gets a little closer to the wall, doesn't my x get smaller? Yes. So initially, when we talked about z not changing, this ladder will always remain 20 feet. But this distance x changes uh, depending on how far the ladder is. So this is a problem where we need to solve for one of the variables in this equation. How do I solve for x? Well, I notice the ladder is 16 feet above the ground. I do notice that the diagonal is 20 feet. If I already have two sides of a triangle, can't I solve for the third and remaining side? That's correct. So I'm going to do a side calculation to find out that z that we're missing for this problem. So let me make my little side calculation. Let me draw my triangle. And it's 16, 20, and I'm missing x. And again, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem and solve for that missing quantity. So even though we did not find it initially in our knowns and unknowns, I had to do a side calculation and find out what x is. So now I'll place that in the problem. x prime, let's go back to our initial, our knowns and unknowns and see if we have x prime. Yes, we do. It's 3. And lastly, I need y. Remember, y is the height. Looking back at our knowns and unknowns, our y is 16 feet. So I'll go back into my equation and put 16. And now we have the pieces in place to solve for y prime. The rest is algebraic, so let me simplify this for you, which becomes negative 72 over 32, or it simplifies to ne negative 9 over 4. Again, the most important thing is units. Do you see this? It's a rate. And what has our rate units been? Feet per second. So my answer will be negative 9 over 4 feet per second. <laughs> and now we know how far Justin Bieber is falling, 16 feet above the ground. But what about our other question? Let's find out from Selena Gomez herself. Uh, but is there, I mean, you're, I, 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 I don't know, are you dating? You're not dating. Uh, He's been in my life for so long, and it's just nice to have someone that understands what you're going through. <laughs> Now listen, uh, this is not my first rodeo. <laughs> you can talk to me about these things. I understand because of your circumstance and his circumstance the reluctance uh, necessary in discussing a relationship like this. So I'm not going to press anything. Oh, well that's very sweet. Yeah, so, but good luck. Thank you. <laughs>